superintendent says that her main goal is to keep everyone safe. As educators and staff at Elkin City Schools prepare for the fall and wait for word from the governor's office, Superintendent Dr. Myra Cox says the district is prepared to open under three different scenarios. She says Plan A would bring all students back to campus, while Plan B would be... Filling our classrooms to 50% occupancy, and we will have some students rotating on weekly schedules. And Cox says Plan C would move all students to online learning. And the superintendent tells me that transportation is going to be one of the biggest challenges of getting kids back to school this fall. Cox says the school system will have buses run on three separate bus routes, both in the morning and in the afternoon, as well as have a limited number of students ride every day. A monitor will check the bus rider's temperature and conduct a simple screening, three basic questions. For those students who drive themselves or who get dropped off, Cox says, they also will have their temperature checked and will also be asked screening questions in order to catch any type of possible illness before students get into the building. Another big change, Cox says, is that masks will be required. All staff, instructional support, um, and any, anybody in our buildings to wear a mask, they will be required. Uh, middle and high school students will be required to wear masks. She says masks will be strongly recommended for pre-K through sixth grade students. But for those who are unable to wear one due to medical or other conditions, they will not be forced. Cox says no matter which plan is picked, if a teacher or student is not comfortable coming back to campus, they are able to take part in a global e-learning virtual academy. And the superintendent says that this is all subject to change based on what the governor's office says, as well as any changes by the school board. In Elkin tonight, Justin Schreyer, WXII 12 News.